Hey, what's up? It's Jake, and we're on to the section uh, looping with the count parameter. I uh, think this is a very useless parameter. Sorry, HashiCorp, if you watch this for some strange reason. Um, it's not my favorite, you guys. We need to get rid of this altogether. So um, I have an example of some stuff that I went through, and I'm just going to kind of go through this so you can see. Um, but I'm not actually going to build this because it's not worth building. Um, I know that sounds kind of harsh, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's say I'm going to do a provider and then um, an AWS, and I'm going to create an IAM user named Larry. Okay, that would work just fine. So what about how would you make three users? Okay, so here's a Python-ish example to consider. So for i equals 0, i less than 3, i increment. And you would get three uh, values of i, right? And then if we did this for loop and we have resources, i is an i am user example named Larry, you should get something like Larry, Larry, Larry. Okay. And the problem with that is you're going to have resources i am user example named Larry three times, and i am when you get to the second user is going to be like whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't do this because there's already an IAM user named Larry. You need to pick a unique name. So that's not going to work. So Terraform can't use loops like this, but they have a meta parameter called count. So what you could do is instead of this for loop, you could just be like, hey, here's this resource. His name is Larry. I want three Larrys. Again, AWS won't let you do that, but this is how you would code that in HCL. And this will give you three users, Larry, Larry, and Larry, but not quite what you're looking for. And you get an error because you have duplicate IAM users, like I said. You could try something like for I, uh, I equals zero, I less than three, I increment over this count three, and then use Larry dot variable I. Um, and in HCL, basically, that would be the equivalent of saying the same thing, but Larry dot dollar count dot index, which is totally a thing you could do. And you'd end up with Larry.0, Larry.1, and Larry.2. Also not super helpful um, for <laughs> creating IM users. So one other option you could do is list all the users you want in a, in a variables file and iterate over that list. So you could do variable usernames, uh, you know, get description, type a string, provide a list, Larry, Curly, and Mo. Okay, so there's that. That would work, right? Um, you're able to look up the values, but I'm not certain why you would ever want to do that. As lists change, the position in the array will also, so using index values wouldn't be accurate or a good idea. Okay, think var.usernames1. So what would that be? Okay, so that in this case would be curly, right? So if I got rid of curly, mo becomes in position 1, Larry's position 0, mo becomes position 1. So you didn't actually delete one, you just deleted curly and you renamed this user Mo. So now Mo is in position one and whatever code you have referencing position one then becomes Mo instead of curly. And if you have certain IAM permissions, roles, policies, and anything like that attached to that user, you're gonna basically give Mo Curly's old permissions, which could be a bad thing. I'm not saying that that's what that happens every time, but if you did use position arguments in an array to um, to identify certain users and then assign them policies, then that would be a bad idea. So there's also a length function, which does what you think it does. And so if in this use in this example, you could be like the count is the length of var usernames. And then the name would be var.usernames count.index. And you'll get three unique IAM users, right? But same problem. Although the list of the names is part of a single variable, using count makes an array of resources. Getting uh, into a data source now requires you to know the placement and the resources unless you know the exact name, which is, as I say, gross. So your limitations of count. You can't use count with a resource to loop over inline blocks. Inline blocks are arguments. And take tags, for example, each tag requires a new inline block. Uh, array positions change. So if you move, if you remove a name from the list, like I was describing before, not only will it remove the name, but it moved to index.2 name to index.1, renames that IAM user, thus creating a sea of problems. If you have 50 users and removed user.1, it would rename 48 users. That would suck. 
For the second limitation alone, I do not recommend using count like ever. Terraform was like, my bad, <laughs> and decided to make the for each function to solve the problem, which is the next function we're going to go over. Uh, so that is what we will be doing next.